Mastering Baking Basics – How to Use a Pastry Cutter Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the nuances of the English language and its practical applications. Today, we're exploring a fascinating topic that combines language learning with the art of baking. How to Use a Pastry Cutter Whether you're a baking enthusiast or just curious about English culinary terms, this video is crafted for you. Let's unravel the mystery behind this handy baking tool and learn how to use it like a pro. A pastry cutter, also known as a pastry blender, is a kitchen tool used primarily in baking. It's designed to blend solid fat, like butter or shortening, into flour and other dry ingredients. The goal is to create a crumbly mixture that forms the basis for pie crusts, biscuits, and other flaky baked goods. A pastry cutter typically consists of a handle attached to multiple curved, rigid wires or blades. The simplicity of its design belies its importance in achieving the perfect pastry texture. Using a pastry cutter is essential for two main reasons, texture and temperature. The technique of cutting in the fat instead of melting or creaming it with the flour ensures that small pieces of fat are evenly distributed throughout the dough. These tiny fat pockets are what give pastries their flaky, light texture once baked. Additionally, keeping the ingredients cold prevents the fat from melting before baking, which is crucial for the desired end result. A pastry cutter allows you to mix these ingredients quickly and efficiently, maintaining their cool temperature. 1. Prepare your ingredients. Measure your flour and cold fat, butter, shortening, or lard, and place them in a large mixing bowl. 2. Cutting in the fat. Hold the pastry cutter by the handle and press it down into the mixture of flour and fat using a rocking or twisting motion to cut the fat into small pieces. Avoid using a stirring motion, as the goal is to cut the fat into the flour, not to mix or mash it. 3. Repeat the process. Continue this process until the mixture resembles coarse crumbs with some pea-sized pieces of fat remaining. This texture is key for creating flaky layers in your baked goods. 4. Mix in other ingredients. Once your fat is properly cut into the flour, you can proceed to mix in any other ingredients according to your recipe, e.g., water, sugar, salt. Keep everything cold. For the best results, ensure your fat and even your pastry cutter are chilled before use. Some bakers even chill their flour. Be patient. The process can be a bit tedious, but patience is crucial. Rushing can lead to overworking the dough, affecting the texture of your pastries. Cleanliness. If the pastry cutter gets clogged with fat, clean it off before continuing to ensure an even blend. Congratulations! You've just learned how to use a pastry cutter, a fundamental skill in the world of baking. This tool is not just about mixing ingredients. It's about doing so in a way that achieves the perfect texture and flavor for your pastries. We hope this video has demystified the pastry cutter for you and inspired you to try it out in your own baking adventures. Happy baking! And see you in our next video where we'll explore more intriguing aspects of the English language and its practical uses.